Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a paper bag kite. Super easy. Um, you don't need a whole lot of supplies, but um, what you'll need is going to be obviously a paper bag, um, tape, twine or yarn. Um, I have twine today, but uh, yarn or string, anything like that would do fine. A popsicle stick or a straw. Um, I'm using a straw today. Um, scissors streamers to add to the bottom of the kite and then whatever you're going to use to decorate um, today i'm using watercolors but you can use markers crayons um, you can even just draw on your bag it's really up to you um, just get creative with it you can use whatever you'd like so we are going to go ahead and get started so first things first um, i'm gonna start by decorating the kite so you want to decorate the entire thing um, before we actually move on. So if you're painting, um, you might want to do this in a few different steps. You'll paint and then let it dry um, and then finish making it later. Um, but like I said, I'm going to paint today um, and I'm just going to start a little scene here. Like I said, I've got uh, watercolor that I'm working with today and what I have to do for watercolor if you guys are using this at home um, I paint one side kind of let it dry flip it over do the other side and then I open the bag up and do the sides and the very bottom um, that was just what I decided to do you don't have to um, but uh, I liked having color on all the sides so that's what we're going with so um, when it comes to decorating, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Just create and add on there. If you want to draw on your bag first to kind of get some shapes, um, that way you can follow along, that's totally fine. Um, or if you want to just completely draw on it and not color or paint it, you can do that. But uh, I'm adding like a beach scene here with a few waves and a little island. Like I said, there's really no wrong or right way to do it. I'm just adding as much color to it as I want. This is going to be more of a scene for me versus um, the other one that I'll show you later. Uh, was more shapes than just colors. Get a little brown here. And I'm not going to finish this bag that I'm painting now. Um, I'm just going to kind of get a base on here just to kind of see and show you guys whoops, uh, what we're looking for. But I'm going to add a palm tree to this one. And this is going to be an island. Add some palm leaves to it real fast and then we'll get moving on forward. And you can do as many of these as you'd like. Um, if you wanted, if you have a, a couple bags on hand, by all means, uh, paint a few of them and then you can fly them all. It'd be really cool. Like I said, there's not really a, a right or wrong way to do this. I'm just kind of doing what I think would be fun. I love the beach, so I want to paint the beach with some palm trees on it. There we go. So this is just the start of this one, um, and I'm going to finish it later, but like I said, we're just decorating. You want to make sure you do all the sides, um, that way you, when, you're, when you fly your kite, you have color all over and you can just see, and I'm just going to add a little detail here. Like I said, if you're doing watercolor at home, make sure you let it dry all the way before you 
flip to the other side to paint um, or if you're just doing one side let it dry all the way before we move on to the next step so I am going to put this to the side for now so we can kind of move on and I can show you the next few steps um, so I have one already colored here which I love how it turned out um, just all kinds of bright different colors and I did all the sides as you can see um, so when we go to fly that you'll get colors all around it um, so the next step is we're gonna grab our scissors um, and cut just a small hole in the top of the bag um, which I've already put one here but you don't need anything big it's just enough to fit the um, the twine or string through um, so we want to make sure we have a hole in the top and then we're gonna grab grab our twine and our our straw or our um, popsicle stick and we're gonna tie uh, in the center of that and this is gonna be the stopper to help hold our kite um, so the string doesn't slip through so we want to kind of and I would double knot it if I were you just to make sure that the string doesn't come undone but um, that's kind of what we're looking for if you don't have um, if you didn't get a packet from us and you're making this from home you want your twine to be about uh, 24 inches long um, I would make it a little longer if, if you can um, but it's a good it's a good length to you know run with your kite um, so then once you do that we're going to uh, feed it ooh, through the bottom like so sorry if this is a little loud on the video but just like that and we're gonna pull that string or twine all the way through well it fell off the thing see this is why we double knot it <laughs> so let's try that again There we go. So then that way, when you're out running with your kite, it doesn't, the string doesn't pull out the bottom. So once you have done that, next step is gonna be to attach your streamers or your tails to the bottom of your kite. Let me just move that a little bit. Um, so I have reds, purple, and blue. Um, I'm sorry, white, blue, and purple. <laughs> I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and attach these. Maybe I was looking at the tape there. And uh, just a little tape on the end, doesn't have to be anything too special. And you're just gonna attach it right to the inside. Just like this. And we got a few more off to the side here. You can make these as long or as short as you want. Um, I think the longer they are, the cooler effect you're gonna have um, when you go to fly your kite. Just like that. Attach this one. And that one. Move this stuff out of the way here. And then that's really it. That's your uh, that's your kite. And now you can take it out and uh, fly it um get some good exercise in while you're running around with it but um that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please uh share your creations with us online on facebook um we love to see what you guys uh design and create it's always fun to see that so be sure to tag us there and uh hope you guys are staying safe thank you so much and have a good one